The tale of Tobit, son of Tobiel, son of Ananiel, son of Adul, son of Gabel, of the lineage of Asiel and tribe of Naphtali. In the days of Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, he was exiled from Thebes, which is south of Kadesh Naphtali in Upper Galilee, above Hazor, some distance to the west, north of Shephat. I, Tobit, have walked in paths of truth and in good works all the days of my life. I have given much in alms to my brothers and fellow country folk, exiled like me to Nineveh in the country of Assyria. In my young days, when I was still at home in the land of Israel, the whole tribe of Naphtali, my ancestor, broke away from the house of David and from Jerusalem. Though this was the city chosen out of all the tribes of Israel for their sacrifices, here the temple, God's dwelling place, had been built and hollowed for all generations to come. All my brothers, and the house of Naphtali sacrificed on every hilltop in Galilee to the calf that Jeroboam, king of Israel, had made at Dan. Often, I was quite alone in making the pilgrimage to Jerusalem fulfilling the law that binds all Israel perpetually. I would hurry to Jerusalem with the first yield of fruits and beasts, the tithe of cattle, and the sheep's first shearings. I would give these to the priests, the sons of Aaron, for the altar. To the Levites ministering at Jerusalem, I would give my tithe of wine and corn, olives, pomegranates, and other fruits. Six years in succession, I took the second tithe in money and went and paid it annually at Jerusalem. I gave the third to orphans and widows, and to the strangers who live among the Israelites. I brought it them as a gift every three years. When we ate, we obeyed the ordinances of the law of Moses and the exhortations of Deborah, the mother of our ancestor, Ananiel. For my father had died and left me an orphan. When I came to man's estate, I married a woman from our kinsfolk, whose name was Anna. She bore me a son, whom I called Tobias. When the banishment into Assyria came, I was taken away and went to Nineveh. All my brothers and the people of my race ate the food of the heathen, but for my part I was careful not to eat the food of the heathen, and because I had kept faith with my God with my whole heart, the Most High granted me the favor of Shalmaneser, and I became the king's purveyor. Until his death I used to travel to Media, where I transacted business on his behalf and I deposited sacks of silver worth ten talents with Gable, the brother of Gabrius, at Regis in Media. <laughs> 